Hello YouTube, MC Bass Fishing. Today I will do a quick video on how to record the quick draw contours for this unit. What is the quick draw contours for the Echo Map Plus 93 SV? What it does is these units uh, come pre-built with uh, Lake View HD up to 13,000 lakes. And what it does is record uh, the contours of a lake that uh, that's not pre-built uh, in the Lakeview HD. So if you're in a particular area you, and this is one of your favorite fishing spots or you want to fish this lake or you pre-fishing it and you want to record the contours, you can. So let's get to it. I'll show you what it is. So while this unit powering on, um, they, uh, Garmin uh, just sent out an update for these units to um, basically what it did, uh, updated the what is called the depth shading range. So now the depth comes in different colors, which I like. And also there's some things you can edit in there. So I pre-fished the lake. Um, I didn't record an entire lake, but I just, uh, in the areas that I was, I hit record. And I kind of, I will show you what I uh, recorded in the depths and what it does. So as the shooting power on, I, we'll get to it. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm gonna just go home and uh, turn the uh, simulation mission, simulate, simulator on so that we don't fry the uh, transducer. So I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna go to charts, go to fishing charts, and I'm, you go home. So when you wanna record, I'm sorry, fishing charts, you go to menu and you can see it right there where it says quick draw contours. All you have to do is click on it and click record that's all it is it's very simple and it will start recording the contours of the lake and the lake that i prefished is called lake line it's in orlando so if you go back and we're gonna go back and i'm gonna zoom in to where i fished it and i can show you exactly um i'm too far um what it did in recording and you can have an idea and I can show you um, um, the settings that you can also change the colors of the uh, depth shading. So here's Lake Line um, as they get ready. So you can see the coloration. So what I did uh, when I hit record is start recording the contours. And the areas that you see white and black are the areas that I went when I pre-fished it. And some of these areas that you see over there, I didn't record. But when I forgot that you can use this unit to record because this lake is not part of the Lakeview HD, I start recording. And as you see, uh, what it does is it start recording the contours of the lake. And if uh, you click on certain things, it, it show you the depth. So basically, um, if you want to change the colors, like for instance, if you look at um, this certain area in white, um, I mean, it's up to 21 feet. It don't have a uh, color in there. It's real simple. All you have to do is go to menu, go to chart setup, and go to chart appearances, depth shading. That is the settings for the depth shading. So for zero to five is red, 10 to 15 yellow, five to 10 feet is orange, and 15 to 20 is green. So if I wanna edit that, all I have to do is simply go to depth range, and minimum depth, so let's go over. So because it's doing in increments of fives, we would do um, 20, we're gonna hit done, to 25. Done, and then I can choose the color. So if I want to choose, uh, let's just say pink. No, I don't like pink, this is more for girls. So we'll go with blue. So then you can delete that if you wanted to and change it. So if I go back, so now you see in my depth, I can, you can add up to 10 of these uh, that I found out and read about. So now if we go back, so now that section that, that was white, now it's blue because uh, in the depth it's up to 21 feet. And as you can see, uh, with the quick draw contours that it did, uh, there's a section here that I didn't, I guess it didn't pick up when I was fishing in the area. So anything you see in white, 
is what um when I was recording where I didn't go. This lake was kind of heavily uh padded, so with the lake, when you see certain areas like that, that means the lily pads that I I can get into, but I just didn't go that deep into them in just certain areas. So you can see um the death range uh that um uh, when I was recording. And also you must have, I don't know if you can see this, but here is when you open it up where you enter your SD card. You have to have an SD card to record this. So I love this uh, fact that, you know, if I'm pre-fishing a lake or if I come to a lake that don't have the contours, I can just easily record. So wherever I go, it uh, record it. And I can also um, update it to the quick draw community, meaning that with the quick draw community, what it does is if there are uh, other lakes in your area that users who have this unit or older units record it, you can also download uh, what they um, recorded. So as you can see, uh, again, if you zoom in, just some of the areas that I fish and the depth range, and then, you know, you click on it to show you that it's uh, the depth, the, the, the uh, footage and the depth of the water. And, and also tell you the date when I did it, what time. And it's just, that simple. Sometimes you have small pockets that I was focusing in on um, when, when I was in the water. And this is great footage because here you can see that you're going from uh, deep water and you, you can see the contours going on. And as you can see, uh, you see a lot of contours in the area, meaning you're going from um, shallow water down to uh, certain depths and getting deeper so that's pretty much it and again uh, if you want to record all you have to do is go to menu and then you see what says uh, quick contours you click on that and hit start recording and thank you for watching the video um, this is an awesome unit it's touch screen once again how to record the quick jar contours on your echo Garmin map 93 SV unit. Thank you for watching. Hit like and a comment. Uh, if you have any comments and questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you for watching the video.